We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Hey, welcome to GospelRhythms.com, Talk Live Radio on LATalkLive.com. I'm Ro Williams. And I am Trisha Mann Grant. Hey. And guess what? what? We're, we're 100. <gasps> oh, 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 wait. Come on, do it. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right, to so all of our sorors, this is January the 13th, and on 1913, yes. Yes, DST was born, and this is our 100th anniversary. We just want to get some love to all the Deltas out there, y'all. That's why I'm wearing my paraphernalia. You got your paraphernalia, okay? Because, you know, when I was a Neo back in the day a couple of years ago, <coughs> um, yeah, I used to wear the Delta Sigma Theta socks, the Delta Sigma Theta hat, the shirt, the DST pin, and people saw me a mile away, and they said, you must be a Neo, and yes, I was. <laughs> well, as a Neo, I just rocked a great cardigan with the with the shield and that oh, was that was you? yeah oh, you i was just cool made some Neil. jeans i was cool oh, like that oh she was cool yeah like i that. tried to be i was I, excited and frantic but i, I want to tell you though <laughs> at my at our rush you know not really knowing about all the colors yeah. i wore pink i wore green oh, a lime green top no, and I a don't. skirt i need pink, you not ever pink stockings and ever, pink shoes ever to repeat <laughs> they that they couldn't you know, wait to love, get me online we love all our greeks <laughs> out there we, we love the akas we love the sigma Ooh. gamma rose we yes. love we we love all of y'all yes. really we do especially our brothers Hello to our brothers, our yeah. Q's in the house. Q's Q's so funny. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what's funny? I used to be an alpha sweetheart. Yeah, wow. I really was. And that's because it was nothing but alphas at my college. I went to, or my university, I went to Roosevelt University in Chicago. And uh, they were just everywhere so wow. you know i became a sweetheart but then that's how i met the lovely deltas well i'm a, a, a member of the family of uh, penn state university mm-hmm. pennsylvania state university epsilon gamma chapter delta sigma theta what's the name of your yes. chapter yes a lambda chapter in chicago it one was a letter so chapter. your chapter is older than my chapter us. yeah girl mm. it wow. was like we had a big old big old big old line but hey to all my ships i yeah. love y'all oh Okay, so Wait, let's, let's we got a great show today, it. right? We got a great show. I'm excited. But about before it. we go there, we gotta tell them about last week, and you you produced and set it up. So Aww. you know, tell them about the lovely guests that we had. I mean, all, all three of them were awesome. I mean, but I, yeah, I, I'm sorry. Oh, Amber. Amber. Yes, I knew that. I was just playing. I was just playing. All right, yes, yeah, I love Amber. Amber came on the show, Amber Sawyer, and she sang her heart out. She was wonderful, and Brandon was her vocal producer. A songwriter. And, and, songwriter. Uh, and an independent artist. Is He has, it, we debuted his single day one. Yes. And uh, he's a really wonderful brother in Christ. He, he's been out here since October, yeah. and he's doing big things over there in Norwood and company. Yeah. And uh, for those of you who don't know, who is that? Brandy Who's and, and Willie <laughs> Norwood and Sonia Norwood. So he's here doing big All things, right. and uh, you're Tanisha. Tanisha, with the oh, last name cousin. that is really hard to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She has empowering through beauty, and what she does is she helps uh, people who are not able to get their hair done or get their makeup done, and and especially they're the homeless hair. Because of their economic they're homeless situation. or their situation. So she definitely reaches out to those that are less fortunate and blesses them with some beauty needs. And Ro and I need some blessings too, Tanisha. <laughs> So we want you to come out this way to Los Angeles, California, sweetheart. All right. All yeah. the way from Connecticut. I'll yeah. Say. She yes. was our calling guest. And for for those of you who, you know, for our first fo- show of the year, it was very empowering because you have these young, gifted and talented um, people uh, that love the Lord and want to yeah. celebrate God with their gift. And irregardless of the challenges, because um, your Tanisha, she actually had her own business, but mm-hmm. uh, decided that it because uh, if I recall, it, not, it wasn't necessarily fulfilling her, even though maybe money wise. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, you know, God gives you with something that mm-hmm. he wants you to use, but in another way that's going to end up blessing someone, someone or uh, an entirely different group of people that you thought. So instead of, you know, doing a for profit business, beautifying folks that could uh, afford those here she's a, she opened and started a nonprofit business that um, 
due to your donations and support mm -hmm. supports for free the homeless the disenfranchised and the lost and, and the downtrodden and the folks that just need another opportunity to maybe be refreshed to get back on their feet and, and, and be inspired and empowered to get back in the game of life and which I, and you should know something about that because Miss Motivation which y'all probably I know we talk about a lot but <laughs> in addition to the other things that Miss Thang over here is getting into in 2013 like Man Talk you know Yay. she's a motivational speaker and some other things and That's a singer Right. And a wife and a, and, a, and a mom. I do pay her, y'all. I pay her uh, a mom. outside of the studio to make sure she comes in here and pumps me up like wait, that. Wait, wait. And, and a mom right. with a beautiful daughter. And they had to go on, show that picture. They had a birthday. Yay. She was in the house last week. Dina Natasha Malika <laughs> Yoba. I love you. You. She's 12 years old now. Happy birthday, little Dina. Happy birthday. She's you, in the studio, Dina, too. So we want to give her love. My baby. Let me tell you something. Ooh, that child is tall. And huh. she, she can wear my clothes and shoes. Well, actually, now she's past my shoes. That's that's crazy. Woo, I love it, though, because <laughs> I know she's going to be taller than me, and she can protect mommy when I get old and feeble and uh, beat people up if they try to mess with me. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> girl, that's good to know. Y'all holding right. it down over there at the uh, the Grant House, Grant that's Estate. Right. That's right. <laughs> but oh, today's wait, show. Wait, wait, wait. We have a new look. Let's acknowledge they, this new look. They wiped out all the they, signatures. Well, yeah, there used to be <laughs> signatures. All, and, and we got these new microphone situations going on. This is pretty cool, now. We're talking about walking into a prosperous oh, 2013 new okay. headphones. Okay, this is how like we're doing that. in 2013. Don't That's sleep right. on LA Talk Live, y'all. Y'all right. best to recognize. <laughs> and know right now. That's right. That's okay. about to write us a check. Okay, right, right. Shoot, he <laughs> might be one of the owners up in here. But he hey, knows, he knows what's up. You know, I think Nessie is one of the owners. He I is. really do. I think Nessie's no, down is. playing He's it. Down you know, him playing and it, trying Dan. to come in, you think, know. Yeah. I'm just the engineer. Yeah, yeah right. Ness. We're going to have to talk after the show, Ness. Exactly. He's over there like, nah, not me. Okay, let's talk about today. Let's yeah. get to it. You know, it, it, speaking of, like, empowering guests on the show, uh, yeah. today's guest, uh, mm -hmm. thanks to um, one of our uh, wonderful, wonderful uh team members here at the LA Talk Live studio, yes. uh, Purpose, who you'll meet late, later on the show. Uh, he was gracious enough to introduce us, and uh, he, we'll meet him shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, the Prophet X. I guess you go by those three names, The Prophet X. Okay, we got to get that right. The Prophet I'm like, make sure that's not X. a typo. The Prophet X. Gospel and you're like, who the heck artist. is that? Yeah. <laughs> He's a gospel rap artist and mm -hmm. a Christian minister based in Los Angeles, California, and you'll, he know, he'll you know share more about his ministry, who's been involved in golf, the gospel rap ministry for over nice. 20 years is he gonna are you gonna rap for us prophet x yeah, I love he, yeah okay. he is he's gonna put it we down him and uh it's today. gonna be interesting uh we are gospel rhythms and as you know we celebrate christians and christians in entertainment across the board mm -hmm. and uh, we have a get the, this our who will be coming on after our break uh, used to be in the secular industry and now he's rapping in the secular, I mean in the Christian industry uh, for Jesus and right. that's going to be a wonderful to hear about but also you know there are uh, mainstream artists who love the Lord like we had um, Amber in because Amber's not a gospel artist she's just right. an artist yeah no, and so we just celebrate the, all gifts no matter mm -hmm. what side of uh, the ministry because it's still ministry That's right. because um, you at the end of the day are lifting your light to allow God to draw everybody to you yes. so we just like going to celebrate him and his gifts and find out more about it and how he stays committed you know 12 yeah. years that's labor that you put oh, in oh girl I'm you trying know? to tell you how many so. people start and want to give up on their dreams <sighs> I know so many people that just said, forget it, and threw in the towel. Even when I tried to encourage them, it made me kind of feel a little bad about, you know, what I was. I said, maybe I need to brush up on my encouragement skills or something because this isn't working. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, sometimes <laughs> I get like that, you know, yeah, it, we, you know, like try. and trying to like, okay, remind myself like David sometimes had to, he had to encourage himself. And I, I'm, I, I got a moment where I have to do that. So, but we yeah. encourage you to keep it right here. That's right. Because, <laughs> and go get a friend, tweet a friend. Yes. Facebook a friend, Tell go grab a friend. Every Delta you know to watch <laughs> the show today. Hey, AKs Soros. are invited too. We won't oh, wait on look, my best you know. friend is an AK. Yeah. Love her yeah. to pieces. And, Mine and is too. She's a judge in New York too. Yeah. She's really going to stay my best friend my for life. My sister even wants to be AK. <laughs> but okay, let's keep on going. <laughs> uh, I'm a Delta. We digress. Right. Hey, man, we digress. We digress. We digress. Okay. So go All ahead, right, girl. right. So we'll be right <laughs> back with more Trisha and Roe. Yay. Yay us. On gospelrhythms.com. Talk live radio on latalklive.com.
Are you ready to enjoy the Maui lifestyle? You can have it all by owning real estate on the paradise island of Maui. Dennis Rush, a 22-year Maui resident and real estate broker, brings his wealth of experience and market knowledge to add value to your Maui real estate understanding, providing a level of service as unique and exceptional as the island of Maui itself. The magical island of Maui was voted the most exclusive resort island in the world by Condé Nast Traveler. And keep in mind, Maui is only a simple nonstop flight away. Hawaii Business Magazine Top 100 Realtors awarded Dennis Rush the 2011 fourth top realtor on the island of Maui. Go to www.dennisrush.com to view all of the amazing properties currently available in the Maui MLS system. Whatever your needs or desires, Dennis Rush will provide a private consultation for any Maui properties your heart desires. You will be in good hands. Once again, go to www.dennisrush.com. That's www.dennisrush.com. Contact Dennis today to start your Maui lifestyle now. Dennis Rush, proud sponsors of the Dawn Christie Show and LA Talk Live. Hi, this is Starlet Quarles, and I'm inviting you to join us every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. for a new show right here on LA Talk Live, The Dialogue, Real Talk, Real People. Join us as we discuss the topics that are relevant to today's generational leaders. So don't forget to tune in to The Dialogue, Real Talk, Real People, every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. right here on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio r and Live 365, Radio Flag, and now Stitcher Radio. Or watch and listen directly at latalklive.com. Reality radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Hi, this is James Kenny from Kenny Group Creative, inviting you to join us every Thursday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for our all-new show, What Catches Fire. We're going to be discussing the love, life, and politics of the American brand. So don't forget to tune in to latalklive.com every Thursday from 2 to 3 p.m. exclusively on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B, Live 365, Radio Flag, and now Stitcher Radio. Or watch and listen directly at latalklive.com. Reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Welcome back to GospelRhythms.com, Talk Live Radio with Soul Wars, Rosina and Trisha. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated That's here on right. LATalkLive.com. Yes. For those of you who are just tuning in, it is uh, the, our organization, our sorority organization's 100th celebration, and we are we're 100 years old. Wow. And um, they, for a little one, a little fact and tidbit, we'll try to sneak in if we can. Uh, they, our sorority celebrated uh, our 100th birthday with a float entitled. 
titled Transforming Communities Through Sisterhood and Service Mm -hmm. uh, here at the Tournament of Rose Parade this year Mm -hmm. in Pasadena, California. (laughs) That's right. We are truly about service. I'm going to tell you that right now. So in case anybody doesn't know, we do do wonderful things out there. So, hey, what's up, Prophet X? The Prophet X. The Prophet X. The Prophet X. So so if people just call you Prophet X, do you like uh, banish them? them? (laughs) Usually people just call me Prophet. How about how about TPX? You know, because three letters. I'm yeah, RW1. <laughs> okay. How are you? I'm I RW1. Yeah. Okay. I'm Rosina right. Williams 1. I'm the first uh, okay. one. All right. So that like means RG2. Is that his name? TMG1. Then, huh? Dash 1. No, you, dash aren't one. you got the M-G1. Dash no. no, TM-G. Dash G- I can't so even remember all these letters. letters you confuse me. All right. Stop. Don't make this. PF. PF. Wait, stop it. A, B, C, D, E, F. Anyway, welcome to the studio. Oh, now, okay. and you he's got on the right colors. Today. I know, yeah. You, you, I didn't even get the memo. I, I, I didn't get the memo, you're but right. I, the spirit was talking to That's me. That's right. Once yeah. you take that blue scarf off, you'll be all right. <laughs> you're <Girl. laughs> on point. <laughs> That's all right. You can, we can wear a scarf swag. Yeah. It's good. He's got red in it, too, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, no, right. it's, it's coordinated. It's, it's coordinated. coordinated. Yes, you are. Yeah. I'm messing with you. You can okay. keep it on. So, as you heard, when we introduced you, sharing that you're a hip hop artist, a ministering Christian artist now that has been in doing this for 12 years. Yeah. Now, yeah. you used to operate on the secular side of yeah. the coin, and uh, we just want to get our audience to get to know a little bit about who you are, where you're from. Are you a native from California? No, I'm originally from Lima, Ohio. It's a very small town, like literally blink and you'll miss it, right. but that's where I'm from originally, <laughs> and I've been in California for 20-something years. Yeah. I don't even wow. remember. But, wow. Wow. Um, Yep. Now, oh, yeah. were you born and raised out here, or no, you no, look so born, young? Born there, raised, <laughs> raised here, raised okay. almost really entirely. Really forgot how long ago it was it, you moved it, out. Yeah, here? yeah. You know, it's been a while. It's, wow. it's maybe twenty something years. Wow. Okay, so now I right. can well, tell no, you, yeah, it's, it's a long time. January the tenth, nineteen ninety seven. I packed my little bags in Chicago and moved out here. That was 16 years ago, a few wow. three days ago. Wow! wow. wow. So it's like, it's like an anniversary. LA anniversary double, for double anniversary. Yeah. And I feel like a kindergartner. Can I move this chair? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. The hydraulics have gone out on her chair. Okay, the hydraulic. Right. <laughs> okay, there nice. we go. That wasn't the sound, was it? I'm gonna work on that. Okay. <laughs> we work on that sound. Okay. okay so, so yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, so, so so I did. I started off as a secular rapper doing. You know, shows, trying to sell CDs. It was, I had a management team, had people behind me, but it was a struggle the whole time. And at the same time, I was doing gospel rap. I was rapping under two different names. And this is a funny story because I used to rap under another name. And I'm not going to tell you the name so you can't find that in my old songs <laughs> on the internet nowhere. But I, I would go that. out and do a show like on a Friday night. Yeah. And then be in church, rapping in the church, rebuking myself Sunday morning. Wow. You know, until I, I went out to an event and an amazing thing happened. A man stepped up, never seen him before. He began to prophesy over me and he was like, God says you're doing two things. You got one foot in the truth and one foot in the wow. world. Mm-hmm. And he's like, today is the day for you to make a decision. And I went, it really touched me in the heart. Like my heart started burning when he was speaking to me. Mm-hmm. And I went back and I talked to the team and I was like, I got to wrap it up on this secular thing. I got to close it down. And they were like, good, yeah. good, because we want you to do the gospel rap. So it was like, and then God just started opening up all kinds of doors after that, you know. That's wow. It's, yeah. a, it's wonderful when, I mean, of course, you need to spend time in the word to get the word for yourself. But sometimes mm-hmm. when you're out there and you're either in a quandary or you're doing stuff that you're like, ah, is somebody yeah. comes. And I had I was sharing with Trisha that our pastor did that to me. Mm-hmm. And when you're, you're when the person spoke to you, did they give you the B side like you, you do this or else? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there was no music in the background. <laughs> no, but it was like it was like when when God is th- speaking through somebody mm-hmm. it's confirmed it's you confirm it you're like that is for me i know you're like god was in me. your diary absolutely he knows of- what's going on mm-hmm. or direction and, and one thing that he said that really touched me he was like only one of these things has a future wow and that's when i was like okay I and it was an obvious answer. answer yeah yeah obviously, i mean because only answer. what you do for christ will last that's right? what came to my mind when he said that and yeah, i was like tell the truth the that's truth. Right. my that's mama right. said it to me so many yeah. times it's in me it's like really at the end of the day we can do uh all kinds of things out mm-hmm. there but at the end of the day who are we touching 
who are we inspiring and blessing and what is the purpose? Because it, there is more beyond this life here. Yeah, and we amen. want people to know that. We want them to have that salvation. So I'm, I'm so yeah. very happy that you applied the word of it being lukewarm. He doesn't mm -hmm. like it when you're lukewarm. That's right. Either you're in or you're out. That's either right. you're hot or you're cold. He'd rather you just be either or. And we That's just right. want to yeah. right. be on point. Amen. I totally <laughs> agree. And um, a word for, for other artists that are out there doing it. I used to use this excuse, and I know other people use it. Oh, this is my belief, and this other thing is my career. Mm -hmm. That's what I used to think. And that's why it hit home so much when he was like, only one of them has a future. Yeah. you know. And I was like, well, wow. I'm calling this my career, but I'm out there doing like street rap, gangster rap, just things that I don't believe in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there's no future in that. My future is with Christ. And so I made the change and switched over and have not looked back since. So, Prophet, what kind of things were you uh, talking about? Were you talking about sex, Nothing. drugs, yep. money, Talk, women? Sex, drugs, like money. Like those songs, women. click, All click, my stuff. click. <laughs> click. <laughs> just give all it of up that. for my click. But you know what I tell people now? I still talk about all those same things. I just mm -hmm. talk about the other side of it. Like when wow. I do my gospel rap, mm -hmm. I'm still talking about sex and drugs and money. And mm -hmm. but I'm telling you the other side of it. What God wants you to do right. with your life Good. instead of the negative. Things. And if, if so. you're listening, keep it here because we're gonna have them spit some rhymes later. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can I do a little beatbox? Do they still beatbox? They do <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. But uh, can you beatbox? <laughs> No. Yeah, I'm going to go. No. <laughs> he said no. You said that a little bit too quick, my brother. You got to listen to me go uh, forward, you okay, know. Okay. Give me a Wait, chance. Right, I just right. try to go yeah. back to the when because I well, when that person spoke into your life it was confirmation of a call. Yes. But oftentimes calls don't seem profitable. Meaning mm -hmm. like, okay, so now you, you, you're cutting into my money because what yeah. I was doing for Christ yeah. wasn't paying me. But what That's I was right. doing in the world was where my cheddar was. That's mm -hmm. true. So how did you That's reconcile true. that that thought process? The Holy Spirit. The conviction right. of the Holy Spirit will it will convince you. That's what it's meant to do. And I was convinced. I was like, I'm, I'm struggling with this secular rap thing. I need to go ahead and fully dedicate. I wasn't fully dedicated to it because I was also doing gospel rap. Mm -hmm. And just like you said, either be hot or cold, either be mm -hmm. all in or all out. Mm -hmm. And I decided, well, if I'm going to go all in, let me go all in for the Lord, there not all go. in for the other thing. Mm -hmm. And what would you, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. say to the notion to someone who says, well, I'm young. I only have a window of time to get this thing, to hit it. You know, I am yeah. not doing the kind of rap that's out there that's uh, distasteful, mm -hmm. but, um, they feel that pressure because you obviously have been doing it a long time. Yeah. You're not 23. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say what? to that that thought process? I would say just keep in mind the fact that um, you know, like this, you know, like we say, when praises go up, blessings, blessings. come mm -hmm. down. When madness goes up, nothing comes down. Ooh. You only gonna get elevated so far. There's a ceiling on the things that you do for the world. What you do for God is endless. Mm. It's, you know, it's infinite. So mm -hmm. just keep that in mind. We got to be in the right perspective. Mm -hmm. Right now, we think that the world is able to provide this. The world is going to provide shows and provide money. Keep in mind what God is able to provide. It's way beyond mm -hmm. those things. As our purpose is forever. And if yeah. you if what you do for Christ will last, you want it to resonate as it, even after long, you're mm -hmm. like, as we're going to get into the, the projects that you have yeah. in your ministry. But uh, it's so much bigger than what. What you're doing now is so much bigger than just you being out there as an individual hip-hop artist Absolutely. that I'm sure um, those that are listening is going to really inspire because now, you know, on the backside of being having that word spoken to you, you can see the bigger picture. And yes. I, I hope that you yes. paint the, 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 the B side to the A side, you know, yeah. Yeah. so that um, okay. those listening can really draw strength and get inspired. I will yeah. do that. Do you find that lyrics come to you? faster or more intense now that you decided to do things God's way? No, and and I don't actually. Um because I I don't I don't really consider myself to be a rapper. You know what I mean? Like I do rap, but I'm not a rapper. I'm not in that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I don't wake up and write rhymes. I literally only write when God gives me something to say. Okay. And if God ain't giving me nothing to say, then I'm going to sit there and be quiet. 
you okay. know? So that's how I do it. Mm-hmm. But you have a cl- catalog, obviously, because you uh, yeah. have some music. Yes, that, I have a uh, <laughs> giant catalog. <laughs> but you have three full-length albums yeah, and a DVD. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. And that's what God gave me to say, you know, and I will continue to rap for as long as he gives me something to say. Beautiful. Now, is your music project themed like the first one is connected to the second one? It's no, like a s- no, there is a progression through them because, mm-hmm. you know, as an artist, you grow and as mm-hmm. a minister, you grow and God gives you different things to say at different times. But mm-hmm. they're not themed. My first album, um, which is called Blood of the Prophets, it's very... It's very biblical. When you first get in there, you're like, yo, I'm gung ho. I'm about to go out here. And, and and there's so much Bible packed into it. And it's it's not so much like street rap. You know what I mean? I was trying to go as far into the presence of God as I could. Mm-hmm. And then after I was there for a while, I was like, well, let me make it something that more than just Christians are going to listen to. Let me make Good. it something that the guy on the street mm-hmm. is going to be like, I can you really feel that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So my second album has a lot more street feel. It's called Street Corner Redemption. And the whole concept behind that album is that God will find you wherever you're at, even Mm -hmm. if it's on a street corner. Mm -hmm. You know? Definitely. And uh, from what I understand, weren't you out <laughs> on a Friday? <laughs> on the street yes, corner? Yes, yes. What was you doing Did on you street corner? You got to talk yeah. about hey, representing hey, Christ hey. on a Friday night yeah. on a street corner. <laughs> what you doing? In Hollywood. <laughs> it's that time, right? That's Everybody right. knows it's the last days. But what are we doing with that information is what I'm asking people. It's like, right. we're living in the last days, so do I just continue sitting in the pews until the last day comes? Wow. Or do I get out and start talking to people? That topic has been coming up so much. We go to church and there's nothing wrong with worshiping with our our fellow churchgoers and and family and friends. But are we going out? Like the other day we were talking talking Mm. about how the Jehovah Witnesses get out. They do get out And they work on a Saturday. what they believe in. (laughs) When I'm at my bowl of cereal and cartoons. They are knocking (laughs) on doors. And we said, right, right. So so how are we doing exactly what you just said? I love it. Yep. It's it's time for us to do that. It's time for Christians to be like, I've sat here for however many years. You've probably been in your church for 10 years, 15 years, soaking it up. Now go. Go out to the streets and squeeze it and let some out. Like I was I was in church today and I was telling people about faith. Faith is not meant for you to keep. It's meant for you to share. Okay. Yeah. You have to be able to share it. If 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 mm-hmm. you're lacking in faith and she gives you some, your faith is increased. She just did the other day yeah. right? on the phone. Yeah. She sure yeah, did. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> we yeah, had yeah. a great conversation. She said, Treasure. And well, she got she's the always she's just like it. back and forth, you know. Yeah. She's always inspiring me. I'll be having a session after the show, actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can never have too much Are we going to have a session right. after the show? Is yes, it that time? Yes, okay, it's sister right. talk time. <laughs> okay, but it happens. I mean, there are highs and lows. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Was it the pastor? Or, yeah, I think it was. He said, you know, like the hand, uh, he, the valleys. I think I've said this before on this show. Hmm. You know, here is the peak, and we can be there, but there's got to be a valley in a minute. And then God's going to bring us back to another peak and another valley. So what do we do when we're down in those valleys? Hmm. How do we handle being in the valley? Well, they I was come, talking, yeah. You know? Yeah. And I think a big part of it is is staying connected to the word and mm-hmm. and 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 what it says and believe it when it says in the presence of the lord the air is fullness of joy you know yeah. if the joy yeah. of the lord is your strength i was sharing this with you the other day on one mm-hmm. of the things that because i kept saying what is the prescription if the joy of the lord is my strength i need that prescription so i can walk in his joy at all times even if i have debilitating lows or extreme highs it, yeah. you know because life circumstances fluctuate circumstances yeah. fluctuate yeah, right. and so do we yeah. <laughs> i mean let's just keep yeah. it real we're not yeah. always up we're not always feeling perfect and perky and so what I have found is that we have to activate that faith that you're talking activate. about. And how Absolutely. do we activate that faith? When we're going through our pity party, which we should come out of real quick because we all want to have them. Yeah. Once you realize, okay, I'm having a pity party moment because we all have our moments, then it's time to start thanking God That's right. for what we do have right. because we get so caught up into, well, it's not like this and I need this and this didn't go my way. But well, hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah. I'm healthy. I got healthy children. Mm -hmm. I have a roof over my head. Thank you, Jesus. In spite of the way it seems right now, thank you for the house. Thank you for the car. Thank you for the fact that I have food to eat and clothes to put on my back. All the little things we take for granted every single day. But you know what the sad reality of that statement is? You would think that would be enough to maybe motivate us to get uh, and do something like go out and say, you know what? 
instead we go celebrate that we mm. oh yeah reminded how good we really have it but you know to uh, to uh, so admirable that you on a friday night with your gifting you know without necessarily having somebody to write you a check at the end of your hours on that mm. corner mm. other than the wow. un, un, unseen check that god yeah. deposited into <laughs> your account right. even though it's not about works you right. know what i mean right. i right. mean it's like you would think that we would place such a premium and a value on God, what can I do for you today to advance mm. the cause of the kingdom? Mm-hmm. What gifts and talents? Amen. Because we get so comfortable. Like the notion of knocking on, to, uh, not only comfortable, but certain things like going up to people that we don't know. Because mm-hmm. on the street corner, that's your objective is yes. to touch lives you don't know. Absolutely. And it's uncomfortable and you don't like rejection and you don't want to look stupid. <laughs> and you want people to be like, that weirdo. And so tell us how you <laughs> how deal, you with, deal that? with that. Right. I am. Um, I was raised in a ministry that did street evangelism. So I am used to that. I haven't done it for a long time. I've been so focused on Christian rap and going out and it got to the to a point where Christian rap became entertainment for Christians instead of what it's useful for, which is the reaching street, the, the non-believer, yes. right? Yes. So, um, you know, I've been spit on. I've had people come up to my face and they're in my ready to fight for wow. preaching the gospel out on the streets. Wow. You know? You know in Hollywood you're not dealing with the people you I've dealing with. I've been in Hollywood, LA, the- just all over when the word of God gets spoken in the open air like that, yes. I feel like spirits. I was just about to say start that. To react You're not to dealing it. with yeah. the actual person. You're nope. dealing with the spirit. They mad. Shit. Spirits get on people and they, and they're they're drawn to it and they come to it and they want to stop you from doing yes. what you're doing. Wow. But I just, you know, I, like I tell the team, just remain encouraged. God has got you. There's mm-hmm. there's angels encamped all around this little thing. What we're doing right here, no mm-hmm. one's gonna touch us. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. So. Hey man, and Amen. this is the moment. You know, we only have an hour on Sundays, but my prayer is always in this hour, mm. someone out there watching, someone out there listening, someone that may not be watching at this moment but can check it out later, that they'll be blessed, yeah. that they'll be touched, that we'll say something effective, you know, that they can relate to and deal with. Yeah. So let's talk about the the women. Women. And before you became the Christian rapper, yeah. what was the reaction the women had to you then as opposed to the response you get from them now? Um, that's that's interesting. I, I never really thought about that. Mm-hmm. When I was a secular rapper, it would be cool. That would that would almost be part of the motivation to go out and have women pulling on your pants <laughs> leg and wanting you to sign autographs right. and all of that now. And now from a gospel rap standpoint, it's like, I don't focus on that at all. I don't even mm-hmm, see that mm-hmm. happening. It's like, it's it's more like focusing on keeping God first, remaining respectful mm-hmm. and guiding them in a way where, you know, they're going to see you as a messenger of the gospel, mm-hmm. not somebody to hook up with. Right. You know well, I mean? that's what I'm saying. I'm sure that now, because yeah. you're a messenger for the gospel, yeah. that the women are more respectful. Yes. And yeah. if you can yeah. recall, I'm sure back then when you <laughs> were doing were a Christian rap, <laughs> it was like, yo, yo, baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were getting a whole nother... Yeah response so mm-hmm. that's just absolutely yeah. amazing and yeah. and for the guys that you used to rap with that may still rap mm-hmm. uh non-christian how yeah. do how do they uh how are they affected by you so i have a lot of partners i used to i used to i also run a production company and back in the days it was a secular production company and i had about 25 rappers that i was working with and now they see me and they're like oh prophet is on that to that that jesus thing mm-hmm. and i'm like that's absolutely right i'm on that jesus thing and i'm not getting off of it right. but you know i still have them come through the studio and they record their stuff and i'm like hey we're not gonna have all that cussing if you right. want to record with me you're gonna keep it clean sure you know and when we done when we start we're gonna pray when we finish we're gonna pray that's and no drug and, use because it's a no, part of the exactly, culture. Exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. We don't have any of that stuff in my studio. Yeah. You know? yeah. Because I try to tell people all the time, this is not Sunday afternoon thing. Mm-hmm. This is a lifestyle, yeah. everyday mm-hmm. type thing that we're doing. That's good. That's leading by example. And yes. I and it's and yeah. I, and I'm sure they can appreciate when they see the quality of the product of work because so mm-hmm. often yeah. they think they have to use other things to draw inspiration yeah. instead of other spirits, yeah. no pun, yeah. instead of the Holy Spirit <laughs> right. to get inspiration, yes. yeah. you yeah. know? Yep. You're right. You're right. <laughs> wow. So, um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more of the, the, the street, um, ministry uh, okay. a little later. I do want to come back to that because we want to bring in uh, Purpose, who yeah. is out there with you yes, after we absolutely. come back uh, from right. commercial. So uh, we're getting a cue from our engineer now. 
<laughs> that we're going to go to commercial and we come back we're going to hear more about uh, the street ministry that the prophet X did this weekend on Friday with our uh, the guest coming in as well as what he's doing as a senior pastor and the call in number if anyone wants to oh, call yeah, in 323-247-7443 right. again that number is 323-247-7443 y'all call us keep right here gospelrhythms.com yeah. talk live radio on latalklive.com be right back all I need is one mic to spark the fire. fire. I stay highly inspired. I rap all day and make the alphabet tired. Hold your breath and concentrate and just try to maintain. We're making not explain. Flow deep within my veins. The blood and the name. No shame and no fame. Heartless artists who started this whole thing. I breathe flames. This is not a game. These are words that save souls. When the MOG rolls, we burn like hot coals. I opened up my dome and my gifts exposed. Angelic scriptures of prose. I compose the battle foes. Standing next to Jesus, I'm wearing a white roll with wings on my back and my eyes are jet black the lyrical angel x my wings scrape the heavens right rhymes in triple sevens sin is filled in reverence as i pass in your present your lights are relevant it's evident the prophet x was heaven sent hey, yo i handle the mic with so much heat that it melts every last one of your rotten teeth so just drop the beat don't even stop the breeze i'm the future outcome of what pop would be the exact opposite of false prophecies just take a seat and watch me flow so sick cause I spit so much as if I got no lips Without me, dog. It's like guns with no clips Bloods with no grips Magicians with no tricks Get it? And if you don't, then that's too bad I guess you're way more confused Than no average Who's Hey, I swing and throw this thing like an orangutan with a boomerang in the rumper room with the magic beer lady tied up in a hand grenade. I'm just playing. My aim out of your reign. Soon as I stepped on the mic and I grabbed the stage, magic is made like I'm David Blaine. Waking the next morning with large lacerations on my left hand that I can't explain. Must have been sleep flowing again. Went and did my thing to open mic. It was a night sort of like tonight. Look, I'm not lying. We leave on pale like Conan O'Brien. Chain reaction like when Jacob hit Mikey because he hit Brian. You know my lips trying. What's the spit for? The untamed, unteached, unleashed, unreleased heat Reaching the gospel and the breaky one, two, three, street crush groove technique And we out, geeks Hi, this is Susie Pruden And yes, you've seen me on Oprah, Good Morning America, and The Today Show And I'm inviting you to join me every Monday from 3 to 4 For my new show, Mastermind Live Join us as we introduce you to the new thought leaders of the world who will inspire you, support you, and guide you to your next level. So don't forget to tune into Mastermind Live exclusively on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch us on Ustream TV. Reality Radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live and we are more than just talk. Hi, this is Don Christie inviting you to join me every Friday, 1 p.m. Pacific, for my all new show, The Don Christie Show. Join me as I discuss love, spiritual readings, your purpose, why am I born, what am I here to do. So don't forget to tune in The Don Christie Show at 1 p.m. Pacific exclusively on LA Talk Live. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch us on Ustream TV, Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Hi everyone, Chef Richard Petty here to tell you about LA Talk Live's new cooking show. Let's do lunch with me, your host, Chef Richard Petty. Let's do lunch launches Saturday, January 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Well, tune in to Let's Do Lunch with me, Chef Richard Petty, Saturdays, 10 to 11 a.m. exclusively on LA Talk Live. We're more than just talk.
Okay. Welcome back to latalklive.com Gospel Rhythms. And uh, we're here with Ro and Trisha. And let me tell you something. On uh, January 13, 1913, here's a little tidbit for you. Howard University is where Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated was founded at Howard University. A lot of people do know that, but some people don't. Did you know that? All right. Just to let y'all know. The birthday. You can just tune in. It's our birthday. It's our birthday. We're 100 years old. I know. We look good for 100 years old. Yes, you do look good for 100 years old. I never would have (laughs) known. I know. I tell you. It's that blood, baby. Welcome back. (laughs) Gospelrhythms.com, Talk Live Radio, and we're in studio with the Prophet X. Yes. 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 And joining Trisha and myself, to my right, we have Purpose. Hey, what's up, what's with up? Your LA Talk type. Live's very own uh, <laughs> comrade team member hey. here yeah. helping uh, hold it down today. Yep. Tell, right, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know, and then we want to just hear your experience in um, being a part of the street ministry. But for those okay. of I don't, uh, our audience who don't know who you are and what you've done and your background here. Well, I'm, my name is Purpose. You know, I rap for the kingdom and... um. Too bad you don't have my bio here. It'll be a lot easier for me. <laughs> you didn't send it <laughs> you know, to me. You didn't send it. It's, 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 it's all good. Bio. You know, I, I've been doing it for since like 2003. I'll say about 2005. Seriously. You know, just as Prophet X said, you know, I was in the secular, you know, out there doing it, um, you know, for the world or whatnot. And um, had to make a decision, you know, to do it for God or to continue doing it, you know, the secular way. And I chose God. And honestly, I didn't think, you know, in the beginning, I didn't think about money at all. But as I went through it, I started thinking about money. But then I came out of that and then, you know, recognized yeah. it for the kingdom. So, you know, I went through that phase. And um, as far as um, you want to cut in or you want me to get right no, to it? Was there any was there any uh, ex- one experience like uh, someone actually spoke a word to him that he was, you know, on two different paths. He needed to pick one. Was there a, a, like that defining moment that happened to you that caused you to choose the narrow path instead of the wide one? Well, um. The only moment I can think of is when the Lord spoke to me and, and told me what I was going to be doing. Mm-hmm. And he gave me the name. You know, when, I pe- when I tell people my name is Purpose, they think I just came up with it. No, God gave me that name, mm-hmm. Purpose. And I was actually smoking a blunt when it happened. I was getting faded. <laughs> Keep it real. Hey, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Faded. Look, I was getting faded. I was still doing, you know, regular yeah. music or whatnot. And I took a break, smoke break, mm-hmm. is what we call it. I don't know if they call it that now. But. <laughs> don't ask what they me. call it now, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys, say smoke I'm going to blast. <laughs> going to get a knock on the door now. But, but anyhow, but that's how that came about. And I laughed about it. You know, I, you know, the Lord said, I'm going to do this and that. And he called me purpose. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so maybe maybe three, four months later is when everything started happening, you know. So everything. that was really the main moment I can think of that really mm-hmm. let me know that it's real. You know, mm-hmm. of course, people come and say stuff to you, but sometimes it's obvious because they see you rapping. They say, oh, yeah, you're going to be a rapper for the Lord, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know when it's from God. <laughs> yeah, let me ask you something. Did you audibly hear from God on that one, or was it more of a in the spirit voice? More in the spirit. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, more in the spirit. Yeah. Because yeah. I've, I've experienced both. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can tell you the audibly, the one thing about God is when he speaks to you audibly, because mm. I used to didn't believe in that because I had never experienced it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yeah, right. Sure, you heard from God. Okay. <laughs> you sure you heard a voice of the Holy Spirit. But when it did happen to me, uh, the thing about it is he gives you this peace and this calm mm-hmm. to let you know that it's him. No need to fear mm. for this crazy supernatural experience. Mm. There's a peace and a calm that he gives you to let you know, yeah, it's me. I'm speaking to you and Amen. you need to listen. Amen. But <clears throat> there's also he does it in a way of talking to us in our spirit. And mm-hmm. we know, mm-hmm. you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt. OK, God just spoke to me and I need to take heed. Now, you were smoking a blunt, so you might have been a little bit flo- foggy on that. You know what? <laughs> you might have been like, I was just about to bring that up because I was, barely in, the, I was barely right. in the word, too. So <laughs> how I knew that was God, I know now I, it was God. But back then, how I knew it was God, I just knew yes. it was. And because I, I told my wife, I said, guess what God just told me? Because I had told her, I said, guess what he just told me? And then yeah. I repeated what I just told you guys. And I just went on about my business after that. Was yeah. she smoking with you or was she? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, she smoked but too, know, but at that moment she wasn't. What, baby, yeah. what he said? No, I was making beats. I was making producing beats and stuff. Right. Oh, Isn't there oh, something man. about how God is? I mean, he just comes right where we are, yeah. no mm-hmm. matter what that. state we're in, yeah. and just love on us. And I think Praise that you walk limits. away feeling mm-hmm. so much 
more valuable and your stock just goes up. Yeah. I'm in my mess and God just came and gave me a word of some love from That's heaven. Right. Gave That's you right. a name. Yeah. yeah, I didn't take it seriously though. But like, like Saul, I said, like Saul on the road exactly. to Damascus, yes. a murderer and a yeah. killer. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Struck him down and changed him name on all the way to do what way. you want to do. Yeah. God's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. let's turn that into what yeah. I want. Yeah, he was yes. like, you're about, yeah. it's about yeah. to be a rewrite in the plans <laughs> for your life whether yeah. you realize it or not. I'm glad about it. That's the type of stuff that makes a good testimony. And he wants us to share our testimonies with yeah. others so they can help them to grow or make yeah. them realize you're not alone. So that's a testimony, brother. I amen, amen. amen. I've shared it a couple of times, but after a while, I don't know. I just don't share it no more because some people really don't receive it or as you say, some people don't even believe in the audible and hearing God and all these things like that. So I, I know it happens. So yeah. I keep it for me and it keeps me going because, you know, he's done things to prove that it was him. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Totally. Well, oh. God ever, I was, is definitely going to put opportunities now. This where you were out on a Friday night. I got to talk about that. <laughs> ha, exactly. With the uh, uh, the prophet X, and you know that's an opportunity where you meet people you don't even know who mm-hmm. are automatically going to be like, "Why are you here? Why are you doing this?" And so you know you, you never know what challenges or or opportunities God will open yeah. just because you made yourself mm-hmm. available yeah. on a Friday night mm-hmm. on the mm-hmm. Los Angeles yep. Street Corner. I mean, I just can't emphasize that enough because. Mm-hmm. It's been cold these last few days. Man, it was cold. And I didn't yeah, want to leave my cold. house Let me tell you to go from my house Look. to my office. And that's just a 10 feet square. You could not. I, I didn't want to go to the garbage can, okay? okay? I was like, I, I mean, for I those of you who are not in California and yeah. are jealous of our weather, let me just paint a picture of this. It's cold, Joe. I mean, you might count us, but like, oh, you know, 10 yeah, degrees, right, that's really yeah. that cold. But I mean, when it's never really that cold, yeah. it's cold. Okay, yeah, can yeah. I keep it real? I'm from Chicago. I see you wearing a oh, Chicago hat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you know about that hawk. South side. I know about the the hawk will push you down the, oh, yeah. street. Down the street. It will kill you. Kill you that. out in the street with the cars <laughs> coming. It, it is. It's a murderer. Yeah. The hawk is. The and hawk so <laughs> kill you and your grandma <laughs> and wait no respect your person. <laughs> so no. I truly understand. So I have to be honest and say I am definitely spoiled. Okay, prophet. Mm-hmm. I'm spoiled. Purpose. <laughs> I'm spoiled to the L.A. weather. Yep. Yeah. And I get mad when it goes below 50 degrees. What in the world? <laughs> what is that? You got, if you, you get mad below 50. You must have been hysterical. Yeah. Girl, I really was. Let me yeah. tell you. But anyway. <laughs> and I wanted to mention something. First, I had met Prophet X mm-hmm. back when I first got into the gospel. I think I may have had one song. Mm-hmm. And um, he may have been like probably like one of the first five gospel rappers I've met. Yes. He came in to the little, it was a place called Christian's Night Out. At, y'all yep. know where Maverick Flats is. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This, this is like okay. 2003. Yeah, 2003. Oh, wow. So a guy yeah. took me there to this yeah. event. And I'm going there. I see Prophet X coming with his dress. And, Testify, uh, oh, you know, no. doing this thing. I'm like, oh yeah, it's tight. Woo, woo, woo. So I bring that up to say that because that was back then, and right. look at us now. Yeah. Yes. And um, I received a phone call that he was going out to Hollywood. First of all, it's a blessing because out of all the people that he knows, hmm. he could have called somebody else, you mm-hmm. know, invited, you know, because you know he only picked the chosen amount of people mm-hmm. to That's, go out here. Okay. So I I consider that a blessing mm-hmm. to even consider that because I thought about going out there. I said, man, it's cold. I don't know if I'm gonna go out there. <laughs> and should I go out there? Woo, 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 and this and that. And I've always wanted to do what he's. You know, what God gave him to go out right there on the spot with the system and blam. So, nice. you know, God will put it in somebody else to do it. And, you know, you're just that's supposed right. to be a part of it. That's mm-hmm. right. So that's yeah, what that's I right. did. I went out and we had a ball. Yeah. Wow. I enjoyed it. it. I loved it. Yeah. Wasn't mm-hmm. no competition. Everybody was there to support each other. You know what I'm saying? We got we dropped, got the attention of the police. Yeah. Well, they well, came over and shut us down, so oh, you know what we're doing. Oh, well, you know, see, we was out there. We had it banging, though. <laughs> no, we we was, like, doing a concert on the street because the speaker yeah. was cranked up. You could hear us for blocks, oh. and we was just out there rapping, just going hard for mm-hmm. Jesus. And the police passed by several times, but when it got to be about 11 o'clock, after we was out there for, like, three hours, they finally came and shut it down. And, and we had Do you have to talk. have a permit or something you don't, to be out there? You don't. It's public property. You don't have to have a permit. We had the sound system right there on the public property and mm. was just going for it. But why you know, did they shut you down? After a certain time, you can't use amplified equipment. Oh, that's what okay. Because, okay. well, like I said, we had it loud. It was a full-on concert right. out mm-hmm. there. Right. But it was so, a blessing. Because, go, I'm sorry, no, go no. Go ahead. It was, it was a, blessing. a blessing because I, I tell people the rap is just a tool that we use to draw the people in. Mm-hmm. Sure. The ministry actually there happens when I stop rapping to you. Oh, okay. That's when I get a chance to pray for you mm-hmm. or find out, hey, what's going on in your yeah. life? Let me tell you what Jesus did in my yes. life. The testimony. The testimony yes. happens 
So the rap is just a tool to get you to listen. We got yeah. a chance to pass out a lot of free Bibles mm-hmm. to people that was walking by. Wow. And did you bring me one today? I didn't. I didn't. I forget you. did not you, bring you, me a Bible. You already have one. How you going to not bring me I know me a you got one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you actually take Bibles to yeah. give out. Yeah. Yeah. People are receptive. Yeah. I mean, everybody yeah. loves yeah. them yeah. free, but yeah. I'm just saying yeah. the response yeah. is. People. So some amazing. people, there's two types of people. The people who look at it like it's got germs on it and they're not going to touch it. Uh-huh. Right? right? You're like, here you go. Here. And they're like, oh, no. Well, you know, right. What is that? And then there's the other people who are like, I need that right now. Yeah. You know, because Hollywood is like a mini melting pot. You have people from all mm-hmm. over the world coming mm-hmm. to this place to walk around these streets and see what is going on. That's and right. though they didn't expect to have church on a Friday mm-hmm. night yeah. out there, mm-hmm. we took the church to them. Where were you at? Where was the exact we're, location? We're right. We So we post up in different places, but we were on Hollywood Boulevard um, right across the street from the Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. Right nice. from, across the street from the Starbucks, right there on the boulevard, right in front of the Scientology building. We, oh, so I, that's you where you're at. <laughs> right there. We, hey, we're Thank doing it you. right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and the next time the police, you know, shut you down, you say, come over here, brother, and start ministering to them. Mm, Lay hands and pray right. for them. Have that's you done that? Right. No, you, no, you but I will. I'll receive that word. All right, pray and for them. We'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a ministry that um, that my church just started this year. Mm-hmm. God tell revealed your church. Tell, we didn't tell yeah. them. Yeah. So yeah. Pastor. All right, so yet yeah, um, a few years ago, God put it into my heart to stop going out everywhere and sharing and just make a place where people can come and hear the word consistently. And I ran from it for a whole year. I ran from (laughs) it. And uh, finally, at the beginning of last year, God was like, do it now. And I was like, okay, Lord. So we started it. No music. We just got in there and we praised God and we gave our first service. That was a year ago. It's called the Freedom Fellowship Church. And our website is thefreedomfellowshipchurch.com. You can check it out. It's actually a Christian hip hop church that's catered towards the youth, catered towards young adults who grew up in a generation where you're used to listening to people talk a certain way, Mm -hmm. you know, and the way that we deliver the message there is it's that same way it's going to cut straight through whatever you're going through and are you going to get is the real you know and what where's I mean? the church located? So it's in Canoga Park, California. Okay. We're there every Sunday at 12 o'clock. And it's like a two-hour service. But there's live hip-hop performances, free food. We play games uh, and trivia. And it's a blast. It's And so the thing is, it's not actually in a church. We do it in a club. We do it in wow. a club. Yep. We rent out a club every Sunday morning and we have our church there. Okay. So That's check this out. Amazing. I'm going to do your flyers for you. This is what your flyers will read. Free food <laughs> and the address. Okay. You'll get the people there <laughs> and they'll have that. <laughs> That's all you need. And the address. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah, address. Yeah, exactly. If it works, you'll show up. If it works. Oh my <laughs> yep. Now, do you, like is food. it uh, because, I mean, do adults or older adults come to Yeah, you? so this is the funny thing. Like a lot of, um, a lot of teenagers, you know, they'll come, but their parents will come with them also. And the way that it's designed is it's not too hokey for, you know, the the teens. They get it because I'm talking to them in their language, but their parents are able to get something from it also. Mm, so it beautiful. reaches them on both levels. And though mm-hmm. they may not be so much into the rapping and the beats, because there's a beat playing the whole time behind the whole sermon, behind everything we do, that beat is there reminding you, hey, this is cool, bob your head. But it's the word of God that you're hearing. Wonderful. You know I mean? Has anyone ever walked up to you guys on the street and said, thank you? I yeah. really appreciate it because yeah. I wasn't going to stick around, hmm. but I appreciate your words or thank you. God bless you. Yeah. And they didn't want to hear it, but they decided to stay and listen yeah. to what you had to say. I remember a few years ago. Um, now, I've always been a gospel rapper who's like, let's get out of the church and get somewhere else. So a few years ago, I rapped. I was doing shows in Hollywood at some of these secular clubs, and I actually invited Purpose to come up. And we was in there doing a the live performance, and uh, it was in a bar, straight bar, people at the bar drinking. And a guy came up to me at the end of the night, and he's like, I knew I wasn't supposed to be here. <laughs> and God sent you to tell me. And he's like, right. I bought this drink and I didn't take one drink of it all I night. And it. I was like, praise God. You never know where God is yeah, going to find you. Right? You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah. if 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 it was only for just that one guy, mm. it was worth it. That's Amen. I, mean? I feel that same yeah. way too. Yeah. If it's just one person, yeah. that's yeah. better than me and, and that's the blessing of being able to do music. Because, you know, you can't go into schools and say, I'm about to preach to you. That's right. right. But you can go in and say, I'm about to do some music. Yes. You yeah. ain't going to go to no nightclub and yeah. say, I'm about to preach. Yeah. But you can go in there with some music. Yes. And sometimes That's you ain't got to say nothing but do the music. That's why the music's got to edify. Yeah. Yeah. Got to be some kind of word in there. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. put it in a form that they can relate to it. You know, like they got the NIV. They got the King James. Okay. Well, they got rap. 
You know, mm-hmm. same thing. You know, it <laughs> yeah, lines up yeah, with the word. Yeah, you know, yeah, man, I like that. Right, know? and I'm listening to your song before we went to the break, or during yeah. the break rather, and it sounds just like the rap that my 18 year old son plays, and it got nothing to do with Jesus yeah. or God or anything. But it's the same kind of music. Yeah. But the only the difference beats, is yeah. the word, the message, yeah. and that's the right. message. And that's the most important thing about it to me. It's like we design it for people who are used to listening to secular rappers, these yeah. big name secular rappers, and they like that. So we want to present it to you in a way where you're going to get the same feeling but mixed with God. There's going to be mm-hmm. more God in there than mm-hmm. anything else. Mm-hmm. And you listen, you're like, wow, he's talking about God. Okay, he's talking about God. And you're able to repeat back what you've heard somebody say. Mm-hmm. A lot of times that's how people learn the verses from the Bible. I heard him say it like this, so I yes. say it like that. You know, nice. you got to give us a little sample of what you're going to say sample. it like. Yeah, can oh, we get okay, it? And okay. then I wanted to f- find out afterwards, have you guys produced any projects together but no, we uh haven't. we have we have a weird, battle right? here we, we need have. a battle you know, <laughs> no, you know no, like no, a no, wild no, out no, no, we no. don't battle we no. don't battle no. battle for jesus battle for <laughs> <laughs> i'll rap with him i ain't that's gonna rap right. against that's him that's right, right. <laughs> 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 but it does like three what's the same problem a three-fold chord is not easily broken it's not ecclesiastics it's all bible seven one says the limit is my life my salvation who shall i fear no bro we need a beat put a beat in the background yeah put a beat on there we're gonna have a bless off up in here today Speaking of bless off, you got some some uh, some rhymes you can uh, yeah. spit. Yeah, I always I stay with rhymes. Listen, if this is the only verse I ever get to spit for you, let me start it off by saying Jesus Christ is true and He's the way and the truth and the life. And the only one to urge you to follow this advice tonight. See, tomorrow's not promised, neither is the next breath, but it's the power of God that pumps the lungs in your chest. So from now until you rest with every breath that you breathe, give praise to His name with the life that you lead. Mm. Amen. 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 That's what it's about. Oh, That's what it's about. No. Well, I, 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 I could go the whole show, so I don't want to take up too much. Time. That's you need. Yes. Powerful, yes. powerful, powerful, powerful. Right. You guys have a Facebook page? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What is it? What is it? My Facebook uh-huh. is facebook.com slash the real prophet X <laughs> because there's a whole lot of fake prophets. Prophet liars. Out there. There's some prophet <laughs> right, liars right, out there. right. Yes. That's right. Yeah. So Facebook.com mm-hmm. slash the real prophet X. And uh, you can hit me up there. And you know what's funny? I'm going to tell you guys a story about being willing to do what God says do. Mm-hmm. We were out there Friday night ministering on the street. And a brother walks up and he's like, yo, I'm from such and such. Would you be willing to come out and minister with us tomorrow? And I was like, okay. You know, yeah. we don't have anything planned. He invited us to go down to Venice Beach. It was awesome because God opened up a door. We're out there on Venice Beach. I rapped for two hours straight out there on Venice Beach while they were handing out free food, free clothes, free drinks, wow. free Bibles. And it was wow. like that door yeah. opened up because I was willing to go and rap on Friday night. Wow. You know what I mean? That is amazing. Wow. And God is just like, I'll open the doors. You just got to be willing to walk through. Wow. Okay. When Amen. were you on Venice Beach? Yesterday. It was cold. It was cold. Well, <laughs> it was, it, it was it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. I think we have a caller. Do we I have a caller? Our, Ed, Hello, just... caller. You are on the air. Welcome what's your to GospelRhythms.com. Hello. Hello. Hey, yeah. what's your name and welcome. Welcome to Gospel Rhythms. Hey, how you doing? This is Bill from Kino Camp. Hey, hey Bill. Oh. Bill, what's going on? <laughs> what's up, Bill? Talk hey, to I... us. Man, we hear everything good, man. I just wanted to call in, show people some love. And to wish we could have been out there with you yesterday. Got a late notice, but man, keep doing your thing. Hey, praise God. Praise God. So, Bill, are you passing the word to all your friends and everything? Oh, man. Well, I just seen it on, I seen it on Facebook, you know, and I love them dudes down there. It's one of like, man, let me hear you up and call. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm right. I'm so glad you called in. Do Amen. me a favor. Tweet or Facebook or uh, send emails, whatever. Just let everybody know to tune in. I know the show is almost over, but they've got a few minutes to either call in yeah. or watch and and just pass the word about these two wonderful young men that we are talking to right now. Amen. All right. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely, man. Y'all keep y'all head up, keep doing it. Hey, <laughs> praise God, Bill. We appreciate you. Yeah. What's up, Bill? <laughs> What's up, baby? All right, all right. <laughs> well, up, he baby? act like he just knew he was on yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bill. Listen, you be blessed. Take care. And and check us out even next Sunday, too, if you get a chance, okay? Thanks for calling in. We have another caller. Thank you for calling in. You're on GospelRhythms.com, Talk Live Radio. What's your name and where you yeah. calling from? I'm, I'm Deacon May. I'm actually, uh, I work with Prophet at the Freedom Fellowship Church. Hey, what's oh. up, Deacon? 
That's my deacon. <laughs> How, you doing, How my are you, Deacon? Thanks for calling in. What's going on? Uh, no, I just want to uh, invite everybody out there. Prophet's working real hard. Yes. The whole camp is working real hard, and, you know, we're trying to go out there and just uh, reach the people that need Jesus Christ. Because everybody needs a little Jesus nowadays. That's right. Wow. Were That's you out there sure. this uh, Friday in Hollywood yep. with the mm-hmm. with the team? I was fortunate enough to be out there. Yeah, I was Good. out there with Prof, and uh, I wasn't able to make it out yesterday. I had a little incident on on my bike, but but yeah, I was out there on Friday. It was it was a cold one, but it was a, it was, you could tell the spirit was out there in Hollywood with Amen. us. Amen. All right. Well, we're gonna pray for your back because you know his we, bike. Oh, his bike. Oh, your back. <laughs> we're gonna pray for your, hey, your bike and your back. Your bike <laughs> and your back, so that your back can get back on your bike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But Crazy. let me let me ask you something, uh, Deacon. Did you what what was it like that experience being out there? Because we can only imagine oh just from talking about it. But what's oh yeah, it? oh yeah. No, when you, when you're out there and you know that everybody around you is is there to serve Christ, it, it empowers you. It makes you it makes you realize that you're not alone, mm. and that when you're out there speaking the word of God, it has the power to change people. You look mm. around and you see your team there with you and, and you know everybody comes from somewhere else and you know that the, the one common bond is the word of god Amen. what well, more powerful is there than that that's right Amen. definitely well wow. thank you continue to spread the word and let people know so they can continue to make this ministry grow Amen. and god bless you thank you so much for calling and in. kudos just for being out there on a That's frigid right. Friday yeah. night. Yeah. Oh and, my and so I can't say enough to that. I Oof. commend my deacon because he's not a rapper. He's just out there showing Support. love. Yeah, love supporting, getting good. our back, and that, that's very important. It's and I encourage good. other people, we're going to be out there every other Friday night mm-hmm. for as long as we possibly can. And where can they find out about when um, you're... It, from our Facebook. Okay. Find me on the Facebook. The I'm going to be posting, page. letting people know when we're going out there, exactly where we're going to be at. You should have a meetup group. Put it on meetup. We do have a meetup group. Uh, meetup.com slash the Freedom Fellowship. And I will be putting it on there. That's a good idea. Okay. Yay. We want to be on your, your mailing list, too. Your email list. Probably. Okay. Amen. Yeah, Amen. definitely. Amen. And you have a Facebook, too, Purpose, Yes. Right? Um, Hope Hop. Hope Hop. Hope Hop. That's a oh, tongue nice. twister. Changing lives with a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, that's right. Awesome. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Well, we All just right, want to thank you guys for uh, being a part of our show today. And Yay! Uh, we, again, applaud thank you, you so much us. for the great work in Christ that you're doing. I'm yeah. so excited. Can't wait to brave one day to come out there. Maybe we'll come out there. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Hey. We will. We will look like Eskimos. Small bunnies, but we will definitely come. That's right. Yeah, do that. And do that. Yeah, Definitely man. to all of our sorors. I don't know which camera to look in because Nessa switched things <laughs> up on me. Okay, hey y'all. To all of our sorors, a big old. <laughs> we love you, ladies. God bless all of the ones that are super active out there. Trust me, I'm gonna get it together this year. I'll be more active this year, and uh, just keep doing that community service and being a blessing to everyone around the world because that is what we're about. We're about helping people and uh, serving doing the a, and serving the community. So, hey, you go, girl. Said, Good show, huh? Oh, talk sis. live radio. We'll see you all next right. week. Next week, y'all. For Trisha, the life edition and Ro. Ro. <laughs> and profit and purpose. That's right. Amen. Amen. Two P's and the hat. And Ness. <laughs> and Ness. Be blessed, Ness. Vampire life, true blood. Dracula. 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 Life's the gamble, gamble. I constantly bound to see low, low. And I'm feeling like I rolled a 654. Yes. See me grinning, cause I'm Charlie Sheen winning. Clutch making hits in the bottom of the ninth inning. Get on the ball, man, I send that shit to outer space. Got my lucky rabbit foot in the middle of this turtle race. Take her home, fuck a date, cause I say nice guys finish last. And assholes finish on her face. Nah, if you can't relate. Nah, don't make the mistake of double crossing me. I make your lungs cease to ventilate. Jeffersons, have you moving on up to a better place? Penetrate souls, minds, hearts with the words I say. Wordplay, out of this world. My talent rare as a pearl. Unsigned hype, watch my rhythm unfurl. To you. Bump my shit while I'm entertaining your girl But uh-huh. it's M.O.B. Don't stress the hoe Leave the sweatin' for Earl Cheer. Vampire life, true blood Dracula Vampire life, true blood 
You know there are many places on the radio, on the staff, and hosts of the LA Talk Live. This is the truth of the internet. That is the most invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. 